for urology exit exam discussions we are going to discuss some scenarios on bladder cancer the first scenario starts now and time is on now you have a 55 year old lady presented to gp with history of visible blood in the urine and the gp has referred you the patient what are all the two week criteria by which a patient can be referred to urology you can explain everything including prostate penile everything um so um the referral criteria um the referrals to urology um are um as follows so for suspected um bladder cancer um and renal cancer um it's patients who are the age of 45 um who have um visible hematuria that persists after a uti is treated or um an explained visible hematuria um and for patients over the age of 60 it's those who have non visible hematuria and either dysuria um or an elevated um serum white blood cell counts um for prostate cancer it's men between the age of 50 to 69 um who have an elevated uh, psa of b- above 3.0 nanograms per ml uh, sorry nanograms per l- liter um or who have an abnormal feeling and digital rectal examination um for testicular cancer um it is men who have a non painful enlargement um in the um body of their testes um and for penile cancer um it's the presence of a um penile lesion which um does not respond to topical um steroids um or um where there is a penile mass present okay so this lady is 55 year old referred for visible hematuria how are you going to evaluate her um so i'll evaluate this patient in a um, dedicated um one stop um hematuria clinic with the facilities to perform a, a urine dipstick um a urine tract ultrasound um take history perform physical examination and perform an on day flexible cystoscopy um in the history i will confirm the um degree of hematuria with her the number of episodes um any associated pain lots um systemic symptoms um and dysuria as well as any fever rigors um i will establish her past medical and surgical history and fitness for surgery um as well as whether she's on any anticoagulants or anticoagulant medications um i'll establish if there's a family history of urological cancer um and i'll also um ascertain uh, her smoking and occupational history um i'll then obtain written consent for her to undergo a flexible cystoscopy um and that will include at the same time a chaperone physical examination um of the abdomen to elicit any um loin or abdominal tenderness or palpable masses um and also an internal vaginal examination to elicit any palpable masses okay what is your imaging protocol for visible and non visible hematuria um so um for um visible hematuria um i will follow um i will request a um ct gram for all patients of the age of 40 um who um present with visible hematuria and i'm following the guidelines of the royal college of radiologists um for patients under the age of 40 um the um royal college i refer guidelines um recommend that where there is um visible hematuria um a ct gram be performed um where initial investigations in form flexible cystoscopy and ultrasound are normal um where is non visible hematuria um it recommends that ct is helpful um where um cytology is abnormal um and where the patient um has a previous history of transitional cell carcinoma okay this patient you are doing flexible cystoscopy is there any specialized methods available for flexible cystoscopy to increase your sensitivity um so for flexible cystoscopy um there is the use of white light cystoscopy um and also narrow band imaging could you explain the narrow band imaging 
Um, sorry, I can't recall. Okay. Is there any other types of specialized cystoscopy available? Um, there is also um, photodynamic diagnosis, um, which um, is often performed at the time of a general anesthetic rigid cystoscopy. Um, this depends upon the um, intracycle installation um, of um, 5 amino levonic acid um, approximately an hour before the procedure, um, with a, one of its metabolite protoforin um, being taken up preferentially by malignant cells. Um, at the time of cystoscopy, um, blue light is then applied at a wavelength of 375 to 440 nanometers, um, and cells which um, take up um, the protoforin um, will appear pink um, or red under blue light. Um, the biopsies must be taken using white light, however, um, and this method um, has shown to be, have increased sensitivity in the detection of CIFs. Okay. So you are doing white light cystoscopy flexible for her, which shows a three centimeter lesion in the right lateral wall, not involving both the urethric orifice. What is your next steps? Um, I'll see the patient after the flexible cystoscopy with a urology cancer nurse specialist presence, and I'll counsel her about the um, new findings uh, representing a suspicion of a new bladder cancer. Um, I will counsel her about undergoing um, a transurethral resection of bladder tumour um, with the aid of a uh, BARS procedure-specific patient information leaflet, um, plus or minus a single post-operative installation of intracycle mitomycin. Um, I will um, arrange further investigations with measurements of um, baseline full blood count uh, and urine electrolytes. Um, and I will also arrange a CT urogram uh, to uh, take place preoperatively. Okay. What is the role of cytology in this patient? Um, so according to the NICE guidelines, um, urine cytology is recommended as one of the potential adjuncts that should be used um, at the time of TYBT. Um, the other adjuncts would include um, the uh, measurements of urinary biomarker, um, such as Eurovision, Immunocyte, um, or uh, NMP22. Um, and the other adjuncts um, include um, narrowband imaging or photodynamic diagnosis. So cytology would have a role as an adjunct. Could you explain one of the other urinary biomarkers, maybe one? Um, so there is um, Eurovision, um, which... Um, uses fluorescent in situ hybridization um, and it detects um, extra copies of chromosomes 3, 7, 17 um, and loss of the uh, 9p21 um, locus. Um, it has a high reported high sensitivity than urine cytology um, but a lower specificity. Okay. So this patient uh, is listed for TURBT after appropriately consenting the patient, you are doing TURBT. What is your predominant criteria in TURBT? How are you going to complete the procedure? Um, so I'd ensure the patient is appropriately prepped, consented, and anesthetized. Um, the who check is performed to include um, VT and antibiotic prophylaxis. Um, I'll place the patient into a lithotium position, prep and drape the area. Um, I'll first perform an examination under anesthetic to assess the presence um, of any palpable bladder masses on biomanual examination and whether it's fixed or mobile. Um, I'll perform a careful cystourethroscopy with a size 22 French uh, resectoscope. Um, I'll then identify um, the um, tumour um, and I'll um, perform a resection um, loop section using monopolar diathermy and glycine, um, starting off with resection of the exophytic portions of the tumour first, um, and then moving on to resect down to the base. Um, I'll evacuate the chippings using an anilic evacuator. Um, I'll take a separate biopsy of the base um, and send this um, using a cold coat biopsy forceps and send this in a um, separate pot. Um, I will um, ensure um, meticulous hemostasis using a rolly ball diathermy, starting off with the center of the base and then moving on to the edges. Um, and at the end of the procedure, I'll terminate this 
um, by inserting a uh, size 22 uh, three-way catheter with continuous irrigation running. Um, in my operative notes, I will specifically document um, the number of tumours, um, the size of the largest one, the superficial appearances, um, so whether it's papillary or solid, um, suspicion for presence of CIS. Um, okay, we can stop that, please. Um, well done. Uh, no major concerns, nice flow, nice communication. Uh, maybe you yourself can identify a few areas like, for example, narrowband imaging. And yeah. uh, I mean, it happens and what you've done is perfect. Whenever there is a hiccup like that, just say, I'm not sure I can't recall, which is a better word than I don't know. And uh, if you say, I'm sorry, I can't recall, then the examiner will go to the next question and ask you, see, by the time the end of the scenario, the examiner may not even remember how yeah. once or twice if you have said, I can't recall, that doesn't matter. And um, go through that uh, nice criteria for referral for two-week pathway. Yeah. You are fine. Yeah. There is a slight deviation. Say, for example, for prostate cancer, uh, they will also mention about the age-specific PSA. And also patients presenting with systemic symptoms, which may be due to prostate metastasis like bone pain. Uh, yeah. Few areas you slightly deviated. Overall, it's fine. Um, otherwise, yeah. box standard, no major things. Uh, standard questions. I'm quite happy to fo go for next scenario, unless if you have okay. any questions. Um, uh, no, I think when it comes to talking about the steps of TYBT, um, because I, I like to get, I wanted to get the checklist in at the end. Um, yeah. Should I have done that or was I right to try and include those points? No, no, this is fine. I don't think that you have not reached the end of the scenario because yeah. it could be either way. For example, this could be a scenario of evaluation of visible amateuria. Since you have done flexible stroscopy, urinary biomarkers, imaging, cytology, everything, and yeah. there is a last minute, the examiner may have taken you to T or BT for completion. So it could be either yeah. way. So uh, don't be in a rushed out to go to the end of the scenario at any time. Give a very standard answer because it can result sometimes in your answers to be a little bit suboptimal. You may not bring out everything what you know because of urgency to finish the scenario so yeah. in, in your aim is to bring out whatever you have in a very bullet point manner rather than completing the full sentences for example for the question of uh, what you will concentrate on t or bt you can say my predominant aim in t or bt is using bose consent appropriate anesthesia preparation like that like bullet points yeah. Rather than I will do a Bose consent, I will make sure that patient has anesthesia uh, pre-op done. I will make sure that hemostasis is clear. Instead of that, make it like uh, good hemostasis using rolly ball, making sure the pots are appropriately labeled as superficial and deep. Like take it like that, and yeah. so uh, don't get disheartened thinking that you have to finish up to mitomycin etc it could be just because it's a visible amateuria scenario and you may be already crossed it okay yeah. so either way it's possible 